Welcome to this video on better picks in just a few clicks. In this short video, we're going to show you how to use the liquify tool to add muscle. Make it look like you've been in the gym extra long without ever lifting a weight. So let's begin. The liquify tool in Affinity Photo is here in the second section, the liquify persona. Uh, it's got its own special menu. Uh, there's some different tools here for doing different things like freezing, twirling. Many of them I don't use on a regular basis, at least for adding some muscle. I've done a video on how to lose weight in a liquify tool in Affinity Photo. Go ahead and check that video out on how to lose weight if you want uh, as well. But what we need to do is all the different sections here. And I want to go to the liquify freeze tool uh, near the bottom of the tool panel. I'm going to go ahead and freeze everything. For the most part, I just freeze everything to start and then I can start to unthaw my changes. I'm going to go to my thaw. It looks like a little piece of flame. Brilliant option here. And I'm going to go ahead and just thaw. Basically makes these pixels so they are now editable while the rest of them are not. And just unthaw the portions of the shoulder, something like that, and something like that, and down to this arm a little bit. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little more of the details and get a little bit closer. Control plus to zoom in. Something like that. And then I need to go ahead and I need to enlarge to push that uh, muscle up to make it larger. So we're going to go into the liquefied pinch tool pinch tool here and I make it fairly large and I'm going to push it up, holding the mouse for a little bit I find using these settings uh, a little bit can help uh, if you start to go higher speed or high opacity or higher opacity it will do this changes much faster as you can tell uh, but I think that can be a little bit too extreme at this level I want to do a little more gradual so I usually use my tool somewhere in the middle of the speed and opacity just to improve the muscle uh, growth without overdoing it. You don't want to get any stretch marks as we grow the muscles and to kind of push that up a little bit. You get a handle on where we want to grow the biceps or the, or the shoulder muscles or wherever we're trying to enhance a little bit. Bring that up a little bit. Now you can get a little carried away I'm sure make him look even uh, bigger and stronger. I'm going to go ahead and freeze everything back. Go to my thaw. Work the forearms without having to do any type of painful sweaty exercise in the gym, which is great. Something like that. Uh, we'll come up here and thaw the forearm in here. Something about like that. And then go back into my pinch tool. And kind of pinch it out, just like I'm literally pushing the muscle out and making it grow strength there the same thing for the muscle in here and you can just see the growth which is kind of cool this is pushing that out you kind of think how if you were a bodybuilder where would those muscle growth lines be something like that so freeze it all back and then to do another one on thawing right here on the bicep and maybe a little bit onto this part of the shoulder a little bit as well something like that pushing that out just pushing the muscle like you're growing it in seconds instead of months of hard work does it feel like a little bit of cheating? Yes. Would it be nice to have one in real life? Oh, absolutely. Growing those out about like there. Then we're going to do one final aspect here and actually kind of give it that more of that uh, bodybuilder look by shrinking a little bit in here. Making those lats have more of a bulge by shrinking a little bit in the sides. Not a lot, but just a little bit there. And I'll go to the opposite one, which is going to lose the weight, is the punch tool. Come up here fairly large, kind of tuck in a little bit of that tightness of the abs, shrink a little bit there. Might be a little extreme. Now to make my changes, I'm going to zoom out, control zero. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply, but I could also see all the different settings I've done in the history panel are here, which is really nice. I can see the different settings and I can go back and forth to different options in the history panel. I'm happy with my changes. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. 
And now you can see the difference between here and here. Pretty significant difference. And actually, make some differences here in just a few minutes of work just to improve things in Affinity Photo. Now, of course, you can continue to expand on that and push the limits of how much you want it to expand to make the muscles look bigger, uh, but it works great using the Affinity Photo Liquify tool. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, hit subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.